Hi, everyone. It's been a pleasure the last three years to work with so many of you on the GMM SAF College Readiness Fund. Before I get started, I'd like to introduce two of my colleagues in the room, Kaylee Porter, our General Manager of Campus Outreach for Eastern Montana, and Melissa Huntington, our College Access and Financial Literacy Program Manager. <clears throat> I'm guessing, in addition to our work with GMM, that many of you know SAF because you or someone you love repaid your student loan through us. We thank you for that. It's the, the money we generate from our student loan servicing business that allows us to fund grants, scholarships, and outreach programs that help more Montana students achieve their college dreams. In fact, according to Philanthropy Northwest Trends in Northwest Giving Report, SAF is a top 10 grant maker. We're ranked number seven in terms of giving in Montana, and we're in good company. You'll see number four is Dennis and Phyllis Washington Foundation, another funder of GMM. We have worked for many years to help students, parents, and educators understand the process of going to college because the process is confusing. Our courageous goal is for all Montanans to know about and use the wide variety of resources that exist to help make college a reality. GMM is a perfect fit for the giving we are able to do. The alignment between GMM and SAF has created a wonderful partnership that we value tremendously. The funds we give go directly to local GMM efforts to focus on timely FAFSA completion with a target of 35% FAFSA completion by March 1st. We're very proud of the work that our grantees have done over the years, and I'll share a little more about that in a few minutes. <clears throat> Our mission is to provide Montana students with the knowledge and tools to pursue and fund their post-secondary education. This mission drives every single thing we do at SAF, including our partnership with GMM. <clears throat> with limited resources, we know that we can't address all of the financial need that exists for Montana students. Leveraging our resources is critical to our success and to the success of the students we help. Our work with GMM has been a great investment and has leveraged significant federal resources to help students pay for college. In addition, we also help students access resources, such as grants and scholarships that are not federally funded. <clears throat> the societal impact of having more college graduates is huge, and by college graduates, I mean those with all kinds of degrees and certificates. They have better job prospects, they have higher earnings, and they contribute overall to the, the health of Montana's economy. As I said, we've seen many successes through our partnership with GMM. Some of our grantees, like Anaconda and Thompson Falls and Park High, have made steady increases and have way surpassed our 35% target for FAFSA completion. Others have more than doubled their FAFSA completion rate, and some had such low FAFSA completion that the Department of Education didn't even report their numbers. Um, and some of those are at 71% currently this year, St. Regis. <laughs> I've talked a lot about SAF's role as a GMM funder, but how might you approach other funders? Generally speaking, the first step is to state your case and to make it as clear as possible. Once you've stated your case, it's time to be very specific about what you want the funder to do. Money is great, but maybe what you need are volunteers. Are they trained? What do they need to know? How long do you need them? Those are all questions that are good to keep in mind. If you are asking for money, be very clear about what the purpose is for those dollars and how they'll be used in your school. Funders want to support your work, and why wouldn't they? It's awesome. They also want to know who else supports your work. It's criti critical to have the support of your administration, your students, your parents, and your overall community. A few moments ago, we talked about being clear in your ask. It's also important to be very clear in your measurements, and it goes back to SMART goals that all of us know about. SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. You have many great data sources to access, um, such as GEMS, which we use all the time at SAF, uh, to help set realistic baselines and targets for your work. Most funders won't fund your work in perpetuity, even if they really like what you do and believe in what you do. Can you design your work to stand on its own in time? Funders understand sustainability doesn't happen overnight. Let them know how long you think it will take to build a sustainable model and how it will be funded in the long run. We all answer to someone, including funders. While reporting is the less glamorous side of philanthropy, 
for you and for funders, trust me on that. Reporting back to your funder helps them be accountable to their boards of directors and to the public. Ongoing communication throughout your project is also very important. So, who are these funders and where can you get one? The secret sauce for finding funders is to find those who have the linkage, interest, and ability to fund the important work that you do. OPI has done a tremendous job of aligning resources, so start there. Even the best laid plans, though, sometimes can go awry. Communicate with your funder if plans aren't working out. Things happen. Let the funder know what the situation is that is affecting your work. If you have a plan B, ask them if that is something they can support. If you don't have a plan B, ask your funder if they'll help you work one out. So what's next for SAF and GMM? I'm very pleased to announce that we are committed to another $50,000 for the SAF GMM College Readiness Fund for 2015-16 and an additional $25,000 in scholarships for GMM students. In conclusion, we at SAF want to work with all of you to help your students continue their success after they graduate from high school. We have a variety of student programs and wonderful outreach staff located throughout the state. You can learn more at our website, smartaboutcollege.org. Let's go far together. <laughs>